Today we're having a look at an amplifier that keeps blowing fuses. So this is the main circuit board that's been removed from it. This is a replacement fuse that's been put in there, but it's completely blown out. Now, when something is as blown as that is, and uh, I think you'll agree that's really quite really quite blown, that normally indicates a problem with the, the primary side of the supply here. And the first thing I'm going to be checking is the bridge rectifier. Let's flip this board and then we can measure the continuity on it just there. For this we use Mr. Fluke. Right. Okay. Okay, and we've got a dead short there. Seems to be okay. So it is the, yeah, it's the DC portion out of there. So the first thing we're going to do is get that desoldered. And to do that, I'm just gonna put a little bit of solder just on those pins, just to get it flowing. I always use leaded solder because lead-free solder is evil. So let's just get that flowing on there. And then we should be able to desolder that with our desoldering gun. Okay. Well, this is the ZD985 desoldering gun. I use this quite a lot in my videos. So we'll just put that on there, a little bit all the solder. And again, let it get nice and hot. Okay. Let's <coughs> see if we can remove that now. Hopefully we can. Whoa, that's taken a lot of heat. <laughs> Ow, ow, ow. So the first thing we want to do is now check that out of circuit and see if it's still short circuited. Oh, it's interesting, it's not. Which means that the short circuit is actually further down, further down the chain. Right could be interesting. What could have gone short circuit there? Hard to tell because everything's covered in this gunk, which I'm gonna have to um, remove. This could take some time, so I think I'm gonna uh, pause it there. And um, yeah, remove all the gunk. going to measure that. I think it's a MOV. That's okay. So I think that's okay for an NTC. Let's flip it over. <coughs> Thank you. 
interesting. I think that should be short circuit. Uh, might be a diode. Yep, that's a diode. Well, let's measure some of these other diodes and see what they measure out. And all that seems fine. I wonder whether it's worth putting a, some voltage across it from the power supply. <coughs> and seeing what gets hot. I've just got a brand new power supply that could do 10 amps. So it's got to be worth a go, isn't it? Make sure I get these right. What well, is a positive is that one. That is positive. Now we're not going to be able to give it hundreds of volts, but we can give it 30 and just see what it does to the power supply. Oh, now I can definitely smell something burning there. Excellent. Right, let's see if we can find out what it is. This is basically the, the iPhone school of troubleshooting. Just whack a load of current in and see what gets hot. There's definitely something getting hot in there. Most definitely. Oh, they're getting pretty hot. Okay, well that might indicate a problem with one of those transistors then. Possibly that one. Actually. Got a diode and a transistor there. Oh, that looks like it's going to the diode. Oh, yeah, that is quite toasty. So that would indicate there might be a short circuit. So here's where we ought to be checking. Interesting. Right, so we've got a short circuit there. Let's see if we can remove that. So what's that one? And now we need to test it out of circuit. And see if we still have a short on two of the pins. And we do. 
Now, I wonder if we still have a short now on those plus and minus rails. And now we don't. Right. So that's probably our problem. Well, it is our problem. It's a direct shot circuit. I need to order one of those transistors. Well, it just so happens uh, the MOSFET that I took out was a 12N60, and I've got some 15N60s, which are almost identical. Uh, they're slightly higher rated wattage, I think by about 70 or 80 watts, but it should be a drop-in replacement. So I'm just going to fit that, I think. Put a little uh, ferrite bead on it. Then we should be able to drop that pretty much straight into there. Do a bit of soldering on this side to get it in. Need to make sure they're reasonably level because they're going on a on a heat sink. <coughs> Let's solder that on there. That seems pretty good. We'll do this one on this side. We can get it on there. And we'll just flip that over. Looks pretty level to me. We'll just finish them off on this side again. And we're going to put the bridge rectifier back on. The much maligned bridge rectifier. Just flip that over. This amplifier is from, I think they're 400 pound um, PA speakers. So they ain't cheap. These take a lot of heat. You can really feel it sucking the heat out of the iron. But that should be it. Let me get a fuse and put it in there. And I'm going to measure the resistance, make sure there's no short across there anymore. And then I'm going to hook it up to some mains. What I should get is a pilot light coming on. So let's check these first of all. Good. Excellent. And where do the mains come in? Over here. That looks good. Right, I'm going to hook it up to some mains then in just a second. I need to find a, a lead I can bodge onto it. Sorry, did I say bodge? I meant connect.
Uh, because I don't actually have the rest of the speaker enclosure here, I'm actually just going to solder on a couple of wires to the mains on the back here. Check that again, red. We're going to put that on there. And we're going to put this one on here. And now we can plug it in and test it. What should happen is one of these lights should come on. Not absolutely sure which one. We're not going to be running any current through it, so we shouldn't need heat sinks for any of this lot. But let's see what it does. And we have a pilot light. Excellent. I'm going to get my friend Simon to put that back in its chassis. See, no reason it shouldn't work at all. And we'll see how it goes. But yeah, basic troubleshooting. Um, I've been doing quite a few iPhones and iPads recently. And a really good way of just trying to smoke out the bad component is just to throw a load of amps at it and see what gets hot. And in that, this particular case, that was a MOSFET that got hot. Um, and the uh, resistor going to it was also getting absolutely smoking hot and that seems to have got it up and running again thanks for watching this video uh, like and subscribe and all that bollocks and uh, yeah hopefully i'll have another one soon cheers bye